And now, your host, Matthew Berry! Thank you, Jeff the Fish. We are the Not Ready for Linear Television players. I promise you, you don't click out of this. I'm going to make you a smarter fantasy football player and a much, much dumber person. Hey, coming up today on the show, it is Waiver Wire Day. There's big news out of Pittsburgh. There's some running backs you need on your team. We're going to get you set for the playoffs. Plus, because we want to appeal to millennials, we Gucci, not nah fam. An episode of that. But first, Secret Scroll today's show will be... Oh, Matthew, it's an example of tanking to draft a better show. That's exactly what we're doing. Nice. Unfortunately, injuries are a big part of football, right? Where are my minions? Where's Fabricio and Marcello? Get on out here and remind the good people of some injuries. All right, thank you, gentlemen. All right, just remind everyone at home how people get hurt. Show us some injuries if you could. Oh, 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 ow, ow, oh, oh, guys, oh, I, I, ow, I didn't, I didn't mean me, I didn't mean me, you dummies, oh, I said, stop it, it's fine, our sound effects are way off anyway, it's fine, just get out of here, the whole thing's a disaster, just get out of here, look, my point is, before obviously being very injured by my two weirdos dressed as meat and bones, was this, injuries happen, right, we saw it with James Conner and Matt Breida on Sunday, both players already declared out for Sunday, in the fantasy playoffs, you need handcuffs. You need viable backup options to be safe. So here are the best running backs available on waivers this week. And my number one, obviously, Jalen Samuels. Now with James Conner out, expect Samuels to be involved on the ground and in the air. Remember, Samuels caught over 200 passes, added 28 rushing touchdowns during his college career at NC State. He is a very versatile player that they like a lot in Pittsburgh. In every game this season in which Jalen Samuels has played at least 10 snaps, He's caught at least three passes and scored a touchdown. You'll see some Steven Ridley, but I expect Jalen Stamos to be the guy this week and going forward because I have a feeling this Connor injury is going to be longer than people expect. Next up, Jeff Wilson Jr. With Matt Breida out, look for J-Dubs, as I've just now decided to call him, pile up the touches in San Francisco. This past Sunday, Wilson, 23 touches. That is the most by any 49ers player all year long. Oh, by the way, he also had the third most yards from scrimmage by any San Francisco player this season. San Fran also ranks fourth in terms of most yards per carry before first contact. That run-blocking zone scheme of Kyle Shanahan's really working. My expectation is that Wilson will really benefit from the blocking and get a ton of work in a good matchup. Okay, next up, Justin Jackson of the Chargers. Very small sample size, obviously, but so far he's been great when he's gotten an opportunity. He's outgained Austin Eckler on the ground each of the last two games. He has six different carries, gaining 10 or more yards in that span. If Melvin Gordon is once again out on Sunday, my expectation is Jackson will see double digit touches this week against a Bengals team that is a very good matchup as well. If those guys are all gone, well, here's some other names for you. Look, we've talked about Jalen Richard all season long. You know how involved he is in the passing game. He actually ranks fourth among running backs in both receptions and receiving yards this season, as is Theo Riddick, by the way, who's 17.7% target share since week nine. That ranks second on the Lions. Remember, that's when Marvin Jones went down. So we have fortunately had a pretty healthy season at the quarterback position, outside of the injuries to these guys, you know, Dalton Garoppolo and, of course, everyone that plays for the Redskins. So no one is actively looking for a quarterback replacement this week for the playoffs. But as I've been saying for weeks, if you have Tom Brady, you can, you should be looking for a replacement on the waiver wire. I just have to tell Ma you. Matthew Berry, this is God. You shall not speak ill of the greatest quarterback of all time, Tom Brady. Wait a minute, God. Is, is that a Boston accent? Are you from Boston? Uh, yeah, I'm from Boston. We got the World Series champions, Brady and Belichick, the best young talent in the NBA, the Bruins. Of course a winner like God is from Boston, too. What kind of question is that? Because you sound a lot like my executive producer who's from Boston, you know? You don't totally sound like God. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm God. I'm going to have to smite you for speaking ill of Tommy. Lightning bolts incoming. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, God, uh, I'm inside. Like, your lightning bolts can't hurt me? Oh, yeah, uh, you're right. Hadn't thought of that. Yeah, and so I'm just, you know, yeah, 
What's, what's going on? Oh, 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 whoa! Uh, what, what did you do that for? Just fulfilling God's will, Matthew. Oh. Well done, my son. Look, I don't care what Boston God says. If you have Tom Brady or Carson Wentz or Kirk Cousins and your fantasy team is in the playoffs, then, yeah, look, I think you can probably improve at your quarterback position. Right now on the waiver wire, you should at least consider it, right? And if you're considering it, maybe pick up Baker Mayfield. He's one of just seven quarterbacks who have scored at least 13.5 fantasy points in every game since week seven. You love that high floor in the fantasy playoffs. Get this, it hasn't always been pretty, but over that span, he's been the 10th best quarterback in fantasy, better than Matt Ryan and Aaron Rodgers, among others. Oh, and he gets a nice matchup this week against the Panthers. Carolina has allowed the six most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks all year long. Mayfield, available in just more than 50% of ESPN leagues. As for some other quarterbacks who are viable starters that you should consider this week, and they're all available in slightly less than 50% of leagues, but it's worth seeing if they're available in yours, that's Dak Prescott and Lamar Jackson. You know, since week six, Dak, QB eight on a per-game basis, right ahead of Drew Brees. Oh, and he gets the Eagles this week, traveling on a short week. Remember, earlier in the year, he scored 21.7 fantasy points against Philadelphia. Also, check in on Lamar Jackson. In Jackson's three starts, the Ravens have averaged the longest time possession of any team in the NFL, which obviously allows him and that Baltimore offense to keep rushing, keep picking up yards, keep picking up fantasy points. So again, look your waiver wire because Tom Brady, not a set it and forget it QB1 anymore. You might need to find a better option elsewhere. Matthew Barry, the second you step outside, I'm totally hitting you with a lightning bolt, old man. Oh, God's going to kill you, Matthew. Want the most in-depth fantasy football information? Or just, I don't know, want to see a grown man talk to puppets? Either way, you got to get the Fantasy Show, streaming all season long on ESPN+.